DNA microarray technology permits an investigator to rapidly determine which genes are expressed by a cell or tissue. To understand how a DNA microarray works, let's consider an experiment that compares the pattern of gene expression in tumor tissue compared to normal tissue. When a gene is expressed, it is transcribed into mRNA. The mRNAs from the two tissues are isolated and converted into complementary strands of DNA, called cDNAs, by the enzyme reverse transcriptase. To distinguish between the two pools of cDNAs, the molecules are fluorescently labeled, red for the tumor-derived pool, and green for the cDNAs derived from the normal tissue. After the RNA is removed, DNA microarrays are used to compare the two cDNA samples. DNA microarrays can contain 60,000 or more different DNA sequences attached in microscopic spots to a glass slide. The different DNA sequences are oligonucleotides of about 20 bases in length. The oligonucleotides represent tiny but unique regions of genes in the genome. The cDNA samples are mixed together and added to the microarray. cDNAs that are complementary to oligonucleotides on the microarray will bind or hybridize with the DNA and thereby stick to that location on the slide. Unbound cDNAs are washed away. A scanner detects patterns of hybridization by sensing the fluorescent signals. In this example, a red spot indicates that expression of the gene is higher in the tumor tissue compared to normal tissue. In contrast, a green spot indicates that expression of the gene is higher in normal tissue than in the tumor tissue. A yellow spot indicates that the gene is expressed equally in both tissues. If the gene is not expressed in either tissue, the spot will not fluoresce. Because each area of the microarray contains a known DNA sequence corresponding to a known gene, the identities of the hybridizing cDNAs can be determined. Using these data, investigators can establish which genes are expressed differently in the cancerous tissue, and thus may be able to design better treatment strategies. For breast cancer, Scientists have identified 70 genes whose expression differs dramatically between tumors from patients whose cancers have recurred and tumors from patients whose cancers did not recur. From this information, gene expression signatures have been identified that are useful in clinical decision-making. Patients with a good prognosis can avoid unnecessary chemotherapy, whereas those with a poor prognosis can receive more aggressive treatment.